Welcome back, library fans. Adam from the Way Public Library here to tell you about another one of the digital services we offer. Today we're going to be talking about the one that's probably my favorite, Hoopla. The Hoopla digital app will allow you to check out ebooks and audiobooks a lot like you would check them out through Libby and the Ohio Digital Library. But Hoopla also offers a wealth of TV shows, movies, music, and, my favorite, comics and graphic novels. Normally I'm the guy ordering graphic novels and comics for the adults at the Way Public Library, and since I can't order them and give you my recommendations in person right now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to read and use them here on the Hoopla app. You can use it on your computer or on your device, much like the other digital services we've looked at, and we're going to go through some of the different features and settings that are available. I think it's pretty easy to use and set up incredibly fast, but as always, if you have questions or need help, you can reach out to the Way Library through our Facebook page, waylibrary.info in the Ask a Librarian section, or you can call the library and one of us will get back to you. Okay, let's take a look at Hoopla. Okay, everybody, welcome to Hoopla. This is the landing page you'll see after you've signed in. If it's your first time using Hoopla, the things you're going to want to have handy are your library card, the email address you would like to use, and an idea about a password you would like to use here for Hoopla. That password's anything you select. It's only really used to sign in and out of this account. I do recommend writing it down so that you have it later. Um, with Hoopla, you are going to be able to log into this service from any computer or mobile device. You're also welcome to recommend, or it's recommended you download the app to your mobile device so you don't have to sign in every time. It will remember you. The other part that's fun about Hoopla is if you have a smart TV, you can download the Hoopla app for your television, and then if you borrow something like a movie or a television show, you can watch it right on your device. I'm on the web version right now, and I'll try and point out the real subtle differences you'll see in between this and like the mobile version. You'll notice up top, uh, I've got the Hoopla um, logo itself. If I click on that at any point, it will take me back to this main page. If you are on the mobile device versus uh, here on the full website, you'll notice the first big difference is you don't have this scrolling banner of whatever is being featured or highlighted this month. Um, we can click through those and see some of the different things that they think might be of interest. Um, this gets updated all the time, so don't expect this one to remain the same long. The important part is to see that your library's name is up top. There's the Way Public Library. After that, I've got the My Hoopla section where I can see what I've currently borrowed things I have clicked as a favorite, and then my checkout history. If you're on the mobile app, it's going to look more like this, where it starts with your currently borrowed items, and then underneath that will show um, the rest of your checkout history. Here on the full web version, you'll see actually it jumps to what's recommended, where I can click here and see more recommendations. Be forewarned, as I've said in the intro, I use Hoopla a lot for comic books and graphic novels, and right now, since I can't borrow anything in person from the library, I am giving this one a workout. The things it recommends for you, though, you'll have the opportunity to set as you're going through the app. Um, you can tell them you're here mostly for audiobooks, and then tell them the genres you like, as a for instance, and they'll try and highlight those things for you. If I scroll back up to the top, though, by browse, you can see that I can look up specifically audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, television shows. I can also click inside the search area here where the little magnifying glass is. If you're on the mobile device, you'll see that um, the magnifying glass is actually going to be just to the right of where the kids button is. If I click on the kids button, you'll see it switches on Hoopla Kids Mode, which is really just going to filter out most of the uh, rated mature or adult content and try and make it easier for kids to find exactly what they're looking for or parents to help their kids find those sorts of things and it turns off just by clicking that button again lastly I've got the gear up here that's just a settings button that will take you into the settings for your account where you can see the email address you're using your library card change your password if you need to things like that because I'm on the web version too I also have this cast button I can click that to send whatever it is I'm using on my hoopla app directly to a television um, but again, if you've got a smart TV, I recommend the Hoopla app there so that you can watch things directly on that screen. Um, in my current borrow history, you'll see that I have got um, Captain America Winter in America Volume 1. This one came out in 2019. It's rated T for Teen. It's by Marvel Entertainment. If I click on that one, I can see other things by Marvel. This one's in English. It's 153 pages. This information will be available on any of the preview screens. So if this was a movie, it would tell me instead um, who the 
publishing uh, company was. I will see things like the director, the stars of the movie, um, the total runtime. Um, in this case, this one was written by ta Coates. It's illustrated by uh, Lil and Francis Yu and Alex Ross, who did this cover. Um, this one hits a lot of highlights for me. I'm very much looking forward to reading it. Um, I can also see more. These um, sort of brief outline areas are available for um, most of the items uh, within Hoopla's collection if you want to know a little bit more about it. You'll see that right now, too, this title is part of the Hoopla Bonus Borrows collection. They are offering up thousands of titles that you can borrow against your um, account without using any of sort of the eight checkouts you get per month uh, through the Way Public Library. So it's really nice that they understand we're all kind of homebound right now, and they're trying to offer us a little more than we might normally get in regular circumstances. Um, if I scroll down a little further on this page, we can see similar artists. Um, these are all recommendations based on what Hoopla has available to you now. If I click on the resume button, it will open up and let me start reading. If I click this heart button, that's how I add things to my favorites. So if I hit resume, I'll show you why I enjoy Hoopla for reading graphic novels and comics. Over here on the right, I've got this arrow key that will let me track through pages. When I get to the first real page of the comic, this would be tough to read on my phone because it would be much smaller than this, but if I click on the first panel, it zooms in for me, and then it lets me read individual panel by panel. So as I click to the next one, it takes me through. And this is a feature that I find really convenient for um, reading things like graphic novels on my much smaller device. Um, if I go all the way down to the bottom here and click on the three bar feature, I get stuff like uh, the option to exit the reader. I can see details about this particular comic that are just like the ones we saw on the preview screen. Help, report an error, the page list. This is nice if you want to jump to a particular page um, somewhere in the thing you are reading, especially helpful if you're in like a novel because you've checked out an ebook and you need to jump several chapters ahead. Then the setting feature is there. We'll go ahead and exit the reader real fast. I'll show you if we go to something like checking out television shows, um, we can see what's being featured here. We can see what shows they've recommended, um, what they're listing in the featured section, what's popular right now. Um, Hoopla will also let you sort by categories. And I'll click this one so you can see that they've got what are their top categories, I assume by popularity, and then all categories. The all categories section here is going to be different than it will be under comics and different than it will be under music as they're going to try and curate each of these more specifically to the type of media you're looking at. But if you aren't entirely sure what you're looking for, this is a helpful place to come see what's being offered. I'm going to go back under popular so we can see some of these titles. If I click on something like Angie Tribeca season one, you'll see that up here again. We see the year it came out. It's television 14 rating. This is closed captioned. It's by TBS. It's in English. It's about 21 minutes per episode. Then again, we see the cast. They're showing Rashida Jones as the star. If I click on that one, I can see other things starring Rashida Jones that are available here on Hoopla. If I uh, scroll down a little bit, you'll see that this one is also part of the Hoopla Bonus Borrows collection. So if you were watching this video shortly after I publish it, you'll probably be able to find things like this. If it is down the line, I'm sorry, future borrowers, this is probably going to count as a single borrow. The reason that's important is because the Way Public Library is going to allow you eight checkouts a month. And if we scroll down on this particular show's history, we'll see that the uh, first season has 10 episodes altogether. So I might not normally be able to check out and watch all of them at once. However, if I stick to it right now, I could probably make it through all of them. So to get the pilot episode, I go ahead and I click on Borrow. We'll give it one minute and says now you can enjoy this title through April 12th. You can also stream it, browse it, or download it using Amazon, Android, iOS, mobile apps. All great. You'll see that it's going to return itself automatically on Sunday, April 12th for me. I also have the option to return it now. Um, and if I want to watch it, I just hit play. That's much like when I uh, was in the currently borrowed section. It was in the Captain America book and I clicked on resume. If I was going to read this one on, say, my mobile device, um, instead of resume, it might say download if I have not yet started reading it, or uh, again, it might say resume if I've gone ahead and downloaded it and then I have it on my device. The nice part about um, your mobile device and the app for a lot of these things is, again, the option to download them and read them, watch them, listen to them anywhere. If you're out taking a walk, a hike, a bike ride, and you want to listen to something like one of the audiobooks, You'd borrow that, download it, and then you'd be able to listen to it as you go. Um, 
this book, The Good Egg, is one my daughter quite enjoys, and so this is something that she would like to have on uh, one of our devices so she can listen to it while she's doing her work. It's only seven minutes, though, so that is a very painful use for me of one of my eight checkouts a month, but um, it's a fantastic book as read by uh, Dan Bittner, and it's one that um, I know is enjoyed by a lot of kids her age, so if I want to see else, what else is available by that author, I can click right on Jory John's name, and it will take me over to other things that are featured, uh, lots of audiobooks and a couple of ebooks over here. And that's sort of how we would navigate through Hoopla using some of the links they've set up. And again, this uh, author's name is at the top because that's the thing I clicked on by clicking this heart. I can favorite it and make this stuff easier to find in the future. Go back to my currently borrowed and um, these are the things that I will be enjoying over the next couple of days myself. I'm under the gun to get through some of my comics, but I'm sure I have the time. So I'm going to go do some of that reading now. I hope you all enjoy Hoopla. If you have any questions, as always, you're welcome to reach out to us at the Way Public Library. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us at waylibrary.info online. Our digital page is digital.waylibrary.info. That's where you'll find the link to Hoopla directly from us. And you can always call the library. We'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. We hope you enjoy your reading, your viewing, your listening, and we hope we'll see you in person soon. Thanks a lot.